We as a deacon body have nominated uh, uh, three men this, at this point to, to become deacons, and, and John Martin was one of them. Um, I've uh, known John Martin for many years, and uh, we serve on the um, uh, trustee board together. Uh, we make tea together, and we clean the kitchen together. And uh, I just, uh, I've always admired him, good family man. Uh, loves his kids to death. Uh, in a lot of stuff that I do, I have to ask people to do things, to either help fit the car show kitchen or do this or do that. And uh, he has always been one that was uh, just no problem. What time do you want me there? And uh, it's, uh, it's a blessing to have somebody with a servant's heart like that, that you would um, always know you could depend on. I guess it's a team sport, and uh, we, all, we all have to pull together. He's just such a, a mild-mannered person that, that just is so humble. Over the many years that I've known him, I've never heard him say a crossword. Sometimes people can, you know, push your buttons, but uh, I've never seen anybody push his, and that's, that's good stuff. After knowing him for so long, I just couldn't imagine a, a more quality person. Uh, that we could uh, have nominated. I was so proud when it, it, it did happen and that, that he was uh, chosen and uh, that he accepted it and that uh, because I know he'll be an asset to the church. Jason Love is a faithful 35 year old, the father of Bailey and Si and the husband of Jennifer. He is a good spiritual example, not only to his family, but to those within the church and the community. Jason served in our church for years before he joined in March of 2014. I remember Jason's been up there quite a few times and he says, uh, he goes in his long speech. It ain't a speech really, he's just talking. And it takes you a while to, re to realize that he's memorized all this junk. and. Uh, Something I wish I could do, <laughs> but I, I really appreciate Jason. Like I say, he uh, he puts his heart into whatever he does. And uh, John 12, 26 says, if anyone serves me, he must follow me. And there I am, there will my presence be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. A deacon is a servant. I mean, we don't have no control of nothing in the church but we are supposed to be the spiritual people of the church. And I've, I've seen that in Jason. He's willing to serve and do anything for anybody, which I, I've always thought that was good. And I just want to let Jason know that I appreciate him coming and accepting the duties of the deacon, and I believe that he will serve the church with honor. Uh, I guess I've known Brandon um, since 1994. So I would put that at him at about probably five or six years old. As Brandon grew up, I uh, had moments where there were times where I got to babysit him, um, which I don't understand why any parent would allow me to do that. But uh, he was one of my youth when I was here the first time as the student pastor. Um, I was with Brandon from the time that he was uh, in uh, middle school through high school and um, got to see him grow up. You know, watching Brandon, from a child to a teenager to now an adult, is to see the maturity of a man. I get a little, I think I'm getting a little emotional with this just because I get to watch a young man uh, serve his church um, that leads his home with his wife, um, that steps in when you're asked to step in, steps in when he ain't asked to step in. Um, leads at the church in areas where most people would never even know he's there, but he's doing it. You know, um, getting to serve with him in student ministry, to, to have him help out, and to watch him um, lead students, to watch him teach a class, to watch him do uh, Bible studies, to have phone calls about spiritual stuff at 10 o'clock at night because Brandon calls and says, hey man, I got a question. I was reading in my Bible. Man, you want to talk about impact? To see that impact in me because of a young man going, I want to thirst and know more. I don't think you could ask for a better person to say, 
we serve our church.